We hate Dot Ham, Chelsea. Listen, man, I'm not gonna lie to you. Everybody knows that I'm a very positive guy. No matter what, I always support Chelsea. I always take three point put in the pocket and move on. I always encourage people not to feel entitled. But today, 4-1 that we won away is even worse than Chelsea losing a game of football. Yeah, you can call me negative, but everybody knows that I'm a Mr. Positive here. Alright? It was shambolic. And let me just start by this guy here. Mikhailo Modric. I know he came, he came in the second half or whatever. This guy was awful. Listen, he got 1 out of 10. Nothing that he did worked. He tried to dribble. No, doesn't work. He, he tried to, to pass the ball. Always the wrong decisions. He got dispossessed over and over again or hit the, pest, the, the first man. I don't know what he's eating or I don't know if he's He's still injured or something, but I was so disappointed because I wanted to see him. Tottenham Hospitals are struggling. Nine against 11, get there, destroy them, score a hat-trick in 10 minutes. That was what I was expecting from Mikhail Modric. I'm not going to give up on him, but this I don't even know why I'm giving him one out of 10. He didn't do anything. He was there just for numbers. In football, is it better to be more reliable or less reliable? If they can count on you, you can play. But if you can't, you're on a bench. And then, let me give some people like 6 out of 10. You know, I'm not giving them 4-2 because we won. The end of the day, 3 point are 3 point, regardless of the conditions. Right? So, we managed to score 4 goals, which is... You know, ridiculous. Why am I giving this guy the lowest, you know, one of the lowest scores? Levi Cole, he showed his age. Getting frustrated and pushing and shoving all the time. I understand it's a derby, but you are playing nine against 11, brother. You don't have to play their game. They wanted Chelsea to lose one player. They wanted somebody to get a red card. And we we gave them uh, that opportunity to, 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 to try to get us out of the game. So immaturity from Levi Cowell is the reason why I'm giving him 6 out of 10. And I understand why Pochettino took him off because he knew he was going to get the red card. Robert Sanchez. Listen. I am very supportive. Everybody that uh, knows me, you know that I'm Mr. Positivity here, right? Robert Sanchez, when he started the season, I told people he needed time. Give him time, he's going to improve. But I don't know. Nobody's going to remember his mistakes because we won 4-1 and because he made some amazing saves. That's the problem with him. He always save the impossible and will concede the easiest the most stupid uh goals ever his his passes from the back is is gonna give him a heart attack he put the team under a lot of pressure in the last 20 minutes oh my goodness his distribution was all over the place kicking kick it long my brother kick it long and try to organize your defense this brother is driving me crazy six out of ten robert sanchez on my mom's life he's playing against us enzo fernandez i don't have any agenda against this guy but he can't shoot he got two positions he can't shoot i know we got uh, a penalty and we got somebody sent off because of him but that, those was just like you know it just happened but when he's in the position of shooting this brother is awful imagine Colonel Gallagher or Manson Mount 
who is missing those kind of chances my friend it was going to be zombie apocalypse get out my club you are not good enough you are product of english media you don't deserve to play for my club that's what people were going to say but because it's enzo because he cost 120 million you can't touch him you can't tell the truth six out of ten let me go to seven i am giving seven because we didn't lose but the performance was awful if i have to go like you know if i have to be honest i will give all of them like three out of ten awful performance today nine against 11 you can't even break break them and score like f seven goals and this is the reason why i don't want to blame pochettino too much and today all the people that been making theories and say pochettino system doesn't work that's why we don't score goals you have your answer today nine against 11 tons of chances one-on-one -on -one. we can't score we are lacking quality. We are lacking IQ in the final third. So are you going to blame the system today? Because it was one road, one way road. But Vicario looked like the best in the world today because of us. We made him look that way. Lack of intelligence. I like the third goal from, from uh, Jackson though because he put him on the floor. He was composed. I liked the third goal. But the first and the second goal, it was just an empty go, an empty net, right? So I'm going to give Pochettino 8 out of 10. I didn't see anything wrong with Pochettino's system. He put them out there and they didn't score. 8 out of 10 for Pochettino. Nicholas Jackson, 8 out of 10 because of the hat trick. But if you take those goals away, my friend... He was awful. He deserved to have like 1 out of 10. But today I have to be generous. We won. So what can you say? 8 out of 10 for Nico. And other people, all of them are going to get 7, 7, you know? 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10 for Malu Gusto. Made another stupid challenge. Could have been worse and get a red card, but <laughs> lucky. Uh... Let's say Moises Caicedo was very good and he was denied an amazing goal. Uh, Disasi got undone so many times. The main man himself, um, Cole Palmer, what a player. What a player. He's just lacking also the finished, the finished product, right? Like, bam, top bean or top corner. I know he's been scoring penalties, but not enough because he had a lot of shooting opportunities that he didn't shoot always off target so let's be honest here just because you are scoring penalties doesn't make doesn't doesn't mean that you are clinical we are looking for somebody who can just bam top bean top corner b uh, goal i'm speaking even french here <laughs> Mark Kukurea, at some point he was all over the place, but I think he did very good, very good tackles here and there. Thiago Silva was Thiago Silva. Very intelligent, but people didn't help him a lot. And people, if we lost today, many people were going to, to blame Thiago Silva because he's 120 years old, but he was good. 7 out of 10. Raheem Sterling, yeah, good. Rhys James, you can tell that he's struggling from, you know, he's not 100% fit. And he had some some crosses and some miss crosses today, which was a little bit unusual because he's, he's very, very good when it comes to accuracy of the pass. But it is what it is. Conor Gallagher, very solid, very, very solid captain, captain material. He wasn't the captain today, though. He did everything. You want to talk about a playmaker? That's a playmaker. He made the play. It's what playmakers do. So I'm going to just woosa. <laughs> so all of them get like 7-7, seven, seven, but I've been just generous here. 
the game wasn't good. Do not kid yourself and say, yeah, we beat them 4-1. And I think Tottenham Hotspurs need to be proud of themselves. What a game of football. Son almost scored 9 against 11. You know, we conceded even a goal that was taken off because it was offside. How the hell? If uh, Eric Dyer found himself in the far post, nobody there, always that far post against Arsenal, the same, against Villa, the same, against so many teams, the far post is not protected. We perform this way against Manchester City. Lord have mercy. They're going to completely destroy us at Stamford Bridge.